Today I will demonstrate how to use the Neo4j Knowledge Graph Builder to create a graph for RAG applications using unstructured information like documents from PDFs to YouTube transcripts to Wikipedia pages. We start by connecting to Neo4j. Uh, I have already created a Neo4j Aura instance for free. If you don't have one, there's a link that gets you started here. So I can take my credentials file and to load this information and connect to our database, which is currently empty. And uh, then I can start adding my documents. I'll start with a Gemini release video from YouTube. Uh, so we have some AI related content. I'll take the Google DeepMind uh, page from Wikipedia as well. And uh, a PDF about AlphaFold release as well. So we added all these documents and then we can pick an LLM to extract this information. And we can configure uh, what to extract and how to extract this information from our, uh, from our text. So I already created a graph schema here with people, organizations, technologies, and concepts, and the number of relationships. There's other ways how you can uh, configure the schema from your existing database or by extracting this information uh, from uh, text that you can paste into uh, the application. Okay, now we can click on uh, Generate Graph and it will start extracting uh, this information from our PDFs. Uh, so we see we have nine pages of PDF and uh, one page of transcripts and uh, Wikipedia, so we can already look at the first extracted uh, data. So this is from the um, Gemini video. So we see what has been uh, extracted. So the different Gemini models, Google AI, some concepts, Google products, and so on. And then uh, the other two are also done, uh, which allows us now uh, to visualize all of them, so I can just select all of them and we can see uh, the graph. So we see our entities, but then we can also extract and show uh, the chunks that we extracted from the documents uh, and that we connected the entities to. And you see uh, as well that it cross connects actually entities across the chunks. And we can also see the documents here as well. So now we can also start asking questions of our data. So for instance, uh, we can ask uh, what did DeepMind work on? And it will use the information from the graph and from the text documents uh, together uh, with GraphRack and produce the answer here for us. And what's especially interesting uh, is that we can actually see what information went into generating this answer by uh, clicking this uh, retrieval information button. Uh, and this shows us uh, from the Wikipedia uh, page, this section has been used. And from the PDF document, the pages three and seven. You can also see which entities have been used um, to answer this question. Uh, we can even visualize them here uh, and uh, look more into, into it. And we can also see which uh, text chunks have been used uh, to answer this, this question. Uh, if you want to go deeper, you can explore uh, the graph of Neo4j Bloom to uh, visualize, edit, and navigate the graph as well.